hello folks so in this video uh, i'm going to cover how to simulate data for uh, the regression as well as clustering algorithms so in the previous video we covered uh, simulating data for classification algorithms but in this one i will be covering the rest of others which is regression and clustering so in clustering in case of clustering also um, i'm going to basically create clusters and will show you the result in the form of uh, you know scatter plot using matplotlib library of python so let's get started so what are we doing here we are just simulating Relating data for regression algorithms. Okay, uh, we will include certain statements. I think we can make use of these, and uh, we'll make or tweak some changes after copying this statement. So instead of classification, we will say regression press shift enter and then after pressing shift enter we can include this statement again um, we are not changing the names of the variables we we can keep the same variables that's not going to make difference and in case if you want you can make changes like uh, you know features regression so that in order to differentiate it from you know classification features so let us say so reg target uh, and in case of classification we'll keep regression number of observation would be 250 only we'll keep 250 observations only and then number of features let us say four and here and target will keep one so target variable is only one and then we will do all other details here from here okay and press shift enter again oh, okay so it's end targets shift enter. and then after that we will create the corresponding data frames for both of these independent variables and the dependent variable to see the values the simulated values so pd dot data frame and we'll include features rec rec for regression okay in order to just differentiate from previous uh, variable names okay so columns uh, in this one let's define column names Previously, we didn't define it in the case of classification, so it took uh, the variable names or the column names as 0 to 7, right? So let's say, uh, sorry. Let's say uh, we are having an IoT uh, connection. So basically, we have a manufacturing unit. Uh, so we have IoT sensors, uh, you know, attached to those devices. So we can collect the readings using those those sensors. So let us say sensor one. Oh, okay, sensor one. Then we have let us say sensor two because we have mentioned four features here, so we will be using four sensors. So sensor two, sensor three. And then sensor four okay and then what we'll do is we will see first few values of the state of frame so press shift enter and you can see here the first few values of those four features and the column names are named as sensor one sensor two sensor three sensor four now if we want to see the values related to the target variable or the dependent variable we can include the same command but with just little tweak okay let's see so instead of features we will use target and let us say uh, so we name this uh, target variable as Uh, 
part or products uh, we can say part degrade okay let's see the values of it so you can see the values associated with target variable okay because we have mentioned targets as one so it is showing one call here okay so this is the way folks we actually simulate the data for regression algorithms okay and uh, next we'll cover clustering okay so let's say so let's type here start simulate simulate data for clustering algorithms okay and uh, what we can do is uh, we'll type few statements here first so first we'll import a package uh, sql learn dot data sets although we have used it above let me type it again so in this state in, in this uh, clustering in case of clustering we will use make blocks okay and then we'll also import matplotlib library to visualize the uh, data in the form of scatter plot okay so import mat plot lib dot pi plot as plt press shift enter and then uh, include the variable names here both dependent and independent so let us say feature plus and target cost equals to make blobs so we will use this method make blobs okay and then again and samples equals to 250 so 250 observations we will take number of features uh, will include let us say three and then centers so centers is, uh, is nothing but how many clusters we want to create so in this case let us say we want to create four clusters okay and then we also need to define the standard deviation so how closely these uh, data points will be uh, you know uh, uh, combined together okay and how how much is the spread basically of these uh, data points so that is governed by standard deviation and let us say we defined we define it as 0.5 and then we will make shuffle equals to true okay now press shift enter this is executed now what, what we want, we need to do is we need to see the uh, these data points in the form of clusters right so we'll use matplotlib for that purpose so scatter plot we'll create a scatter plot for the, all the features so we define three features right so we will use feature cluster let me copy this so feature cluster and then we will include the column name okay uh, basically and then let me copy this again so so basically all the rows for second feature and then all the rows for third feature And then we do plt dot show. Then press shift enter, and then you will see a scatter plot. Plot is created. Okay. So you can see that you know this is very, very, very. Uh, you know light in color then the and then we have this one then we have this one and there there is single dot here if we change it to let us say three here a number of features let us say two let's see how it behaves oh 
okay okay next two because i need to remove this because there are two features only right so now you can see that three centers are clearly visible okay so it depends upon kind of data you want to generate in, in the previous one we saw only you know for the fourth cluster there was only one data point and three other uh, clusters so one data point in one cluster and then three other clusters in which uh, out of those three the one cluster was uh, highlighted uh, not highlighted in fact uh, was light in color because of less data points right so this is the way uh, guys we uh, basically simulate the data for all the three types of algorithms uh, regression clustering and classification so this is it for this video uh, folks uh, i will be covering uh, next next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching and if you like this video please uh, hit like button as well as subscribe for this video as well okay or the channel Thank you.